It's affecting our youth. It's influencing our little kids and it's driving me insane. I'm completely lost. I'm frustrated. Listen guys, my name is Jesse. This is a six round vlog and if you're new here, honestly, now is better time as any because this vlog is going to be taken completely and utterly seriously and that's just what my brand is all about. It's not about just making people laugh. It's also about presenting positivity and hopefully spreading positivity, hopefully one day on a worldwide basis and letting people know of current events, some amazing and some pathetic like the new trend that's going on that actually resurfaced from last year and that's that stupid Momo bitch ass challenge with that ugly freak of a picture this thing utterly pisses me off and the reason is because it's affecting our youth it's influencing our little kids and it's driving me insane kids are killing themselves because of this stupid Momo. It's taking over the kids' television, taking over social media. It's trying to get kids to do stupid things. Kids, let me just tell you something. This is some low life degenerate piece of shit that's trying to get kicks out of ruining other people's lives. Do not take it seriously. Don't listen to it. Momo is not going to come for you. This is just some stupid prank, and unfortunately, it's taking lives of some of your peers, people that are your age. Please don't listen to it. It's just some hoax. And parents, just monitor exactly what your kids are watching. Your parents there, talk to them if you have a fear about it. If you're second guessing a challenge, which is great, something I talked to my daughter about, you wanna do a challenge, please just cover it with dad first or your mother or whoever it is. We'll have a discussion about it. Let you know if the challenge is appropriate or if it's safe, just so you can stay clear from any danger from now and of course in the future so you can live your young, beautiful, and hopefully very, very long life. Whenever you're scared, please just reach out and talk to somebody about it, one of your peers, your teacher, your parents, anybody at all. We're here for you, we love you, and last but not least, for you dear Momo the innocence of a child and to hell to all those who take it for granted these actions were done by those who wanted love but showed up empty-handed so rather than seeking rehabilitation you decide to go levels beyond being frantic and rather than letting death run its course you reach out and you demand it through the programs our kids love and learn from each day, you mask suicidal tendencies intertwined with child's play, influencing the youth, the future of our world. You triggered the wrong man. I'm a father to two girls. You put a scary picture of a little girl in hopes to scare our little kids. But when comparing your heart to this photo, she's one sexy ass bitch. You're telling kids to slice their wrists and you're calling it a challenge. You could be murdered over a hundred times and this world would still never be in balance. Your self-hate is overflowing and you have no idea where to turn. So you put fear into the world in hopes to watch its children burn, to watch these little kids take their life far too soon. But at least they'll be in heaven while you're rotting in a fucking tomb. Hiding behind a picture you never created, does terrorism make you feel brave? Karma's a bitch, and soon you'll feel it in that excrement you call a grave. I know that you're broken. I know that, and we're here if you need. I'll help hold the stake to your throat to see how much Momo bleeds. Dear Momo, please stop while you're cowering behind the mist. And if you think it's a game, then kill your fucking self, because I guarantee you won't be missed. Dear Momo, game over.